Anderson, California, a small northern town home to the state's largest fish hatchery and where wild Pacific salmon lay their eggs every winter. Four months later, these baby fish are released into the river and left to swim to the ocean. But because of the drought this year, the salmon aren't swimming to open waters. They're being driven there. How right, many more pounds left, Joe? 400 pounds. 400, so we got 1,600 pounds so far in the truck. Yeah. Before hitting the road, workers pump 600,000 fish into tankers like these, filled with cold water. If we release them out into the river, they would experience maybe low water and warmer water, which could provide stress to them and also would allow predators a greater opportunity to consume them. So in order to give them the best chance of survival, we're trucking them 200 miles today down to Rio Vista, California to start their journey out to the Pacific Ocean. Left to their own devices, the salmon take three weeks to reach the ocean, but this trip will take a fraction of the time. Within four hours, the fish will be swimming in San Francisco Bay. This alternative route doesn't come cheap. Still, 12 million smolts are being moved this year to help preserve the billion-dollar fishing industry. It is, it is not our normal operating procedures, but it is the best that we can do under these circumstances. Um, at least we will get some kind of ocean harvest, some benefit to the ocean fishery. The fish are kept in nets for a few hours to acclimate to the new waters. Finally, they're set free, left to find the Pacific Ocean a few kilometers away. But it's only bye-bye for now, or at least it should be. They may not know it yet, but these smolts must make the perilous journey back in three years, this time by themselves, to lay eggs of their own.